This next story just wild. Officials left puzzled in Los Angeles this morning after what might be the largest cash heist in the city's history. So get this, thieves breaking into a vault, making off with $30 million on Easter Sunday. And all that was left behind at the San Fernando Valley money storage facility was this, this boarded up hole. And the burglars managed to do it without setting off any alarms that alerted police. Nick's here to break this one down for us. Nick, so much mystery surrounding this case. We have so many questions. Oh, Marky, How we did all this have questions, right? It's the perfect LA story. A high tech heist, $30 million pilfered under the cover of darkness. Thieves breaking into a vault without tripping a single alarm. It's a mystery worthy of Mrs. Marple. The LAPD confirming that the heist happened at a San Fernando Valley money storage facility in Silmar. That's in the northeast part of LA County. Now the crooks picking Easter to target the cash, the heist, one of the largest in the city's history. But who committed the crime? Where's the money? Will it ever be recovered? The feds tell News Nation they're hunting down suspects, but right now, nada. Former FBI agent and News Nation contributor Jennifer Coffendaffer says someone should pick up the movie rights. When you look at the facts, this has insider job written all over it. First of all, how is anybody going to know exactly when $30 million is going to be there? Second of all, how are they going to know exactly which systems need to be uh, unplugged or otherwise dismantled to not get a signal to investigators or law enforcement when the alarm was triggered? And check that out right there, right where police think the criminals tore through a wall trying to get into the vault. Police saying they ultimately broke in through the roof. The FBI telling News Nation nothing other than they're conducting a joint investigation to determine the person or group responsible. Act two of this movie has yet to play out. We'll have to wait and see if the feds can crack the case. For crime buffs out there, the last target like this of this size, a cash heist in Los Angeles back in 1997, when nearly $20 million was lifted from the former site of the Dunbar Armored Car Company. And those bad guys, well, they were actually caught a couple of years later. Now, according to Variety, the movie version of that crime, the Dunbar heist, is already in development. Marky? Yeah, so speaking of movies, what would this make, Nick? Ocean's 23 at this point? That or Money Grab, uh, <laughs> a Bad Bunny, you know, Easter, uh, get the idea? <laughs> oh, that'd be good too. 30 million right out that back wall. How in the world? Okay, Nick, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.